Rescuers say that man was trying to save his dog in a neighborhood near Conroe when he slid down and could not get out. New at 5 o'clock, we're hearing from that man about those very tense moments. Seattle 2's Bill Barajas is live in Montgomery County with more on this story. Bill? Without well, dramatic rescue taking place just behind me in this ravine here, the dog owner we spoke to says his dog had been missing for about half a day. He went out looking for her this morning and spotted her just below. He slid down to comfort her, but the ravine, as you can see, is about 50 feet wide. Folks here telling us the flooding over the years, it's gotten much wider and deeper, so they had to wait for firefighters to arrive to pull them to safety. This was a moment Sandy, the 14-year-old golden retriever mix, was pulled out of the ravine. Firefighters using a harness to safely pull her to safety. Her owner, Chad McManus, waiting patiently for firefighters from Needham Fire and the Woodlands to return for him. McManus, a resident of this Lake Creek Forest subdivision, says Sandy is deaf and blind and must have accidentally fell into the ravine. But the problem? She was not making any noises, making it difficult to find her. She went missing about a day and a half ago, and like any good dog owner, McManus has been searching for her ever since. McManus's wife says he was out this morning and after about 30 minutes spotted her and slid down to comfort her. He texted me and said, I found her. I'm in the ravine. And I kind of freaked out because I was first thing I thought is well, what am I to do you know and then I immediately said I'm calling 911. Dog appears to be touch. slightly injured but uh, awake and and you know um, she's she's licking me and and acting like she's okay uh, I think she's got a broken leg uh, she's obviously dehydrated okay. after Sector. a day and a half. And Chad did not suffer any injuries, thankfully. Sandy was taken to an emergency animal hospital and will hopefully be okay, all thanks to a quick response from firefighters. Live in Montgomery County, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thank you, sir, for that.